how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother. Sacred harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Hell, fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Um, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out? Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Some time to go in town. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I've got sand in my nanopolymer weed. That was really... something. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this?
shouldn't take long. You might want to get that looked at. Oh, I thought we were finished. I still don't like your chances. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest. Then you the extra creepy one. Gladly. about it then. It appears that I'm their central focus. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this way. Uh, don't mention it. I won't forget this. Let's give it a go. I'm skeptical of your chances, but stranger things have happened. Watch closely. You've been deceived by Lilith, and it may very well cost you your life. insistent on attacking me. We haven't quite broken their spirit yet. So you guys want to fight, huh? I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? The very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? Can't make it happen in the next 10 seconds, buddy. I bet you guys couldn't even beat the security guards in my parking garage. This won't end well for you. Love the effort. And while you ponder arrows, maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him?
I'm feeling good about the situation, all things considered. Oh, well, I think that's the last of them, which is good. I might have told Pepper I was just stepping outside the restaurant to take a quick call. And yet I'm the one who's still single. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. What? The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Ah. Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Whoa. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Hail Hydra! Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Steven, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Never surrender! Huh. Do you really believe that will be enough? Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well... <laughs> The Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? I heard Lilith is kind of hot. Any of you dorks make a move yet?
That's the spirit. Let's try this. You've been deceived by Lilith, and it may very well cost you your life. As the adage goes, if at first you don't succeed, on Alpha reinforcing. Everything solid so far? Oh, but Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Wow. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Ah. Interesting tactic. Follow my movement. Tend to make this as miserable as possible for you. Fair warning. You really want to keep doing that? Control of the situation. How do these guys just keep showing up? They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. By the will of the old gods. Love the effort. Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. I'm saving my energy so we need it. Don't mind if I do. Get it done any way we know how. Hey, it worked, didn't it?
wasting your energy. Honestly, now you're just wasting your time. We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised her game. I have a terrible suspicion as to how. Let's give it a go. Interesting. Get out of there! Let's proceed then. Here we go. So that's how that works. The wards. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons, harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be still. What just happened? Ow. Be gone. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtute visanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. That one on purpose. The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. <laughs> what the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? 
now if everyone would just take a moment. Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, it's been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <sighs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. The visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. The air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. But now 
my sense. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and Caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A Dampir? Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You're quite versed in my history, Dampir. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter, child of Lilith, last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagore against the armies of darkness. Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Did I miss something, or did Nico just raise the dead? Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. <laughs> right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. 
Let's just have to begin. There isn't time for a refresher, much less that sort of training regime. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force, pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. It's a real 90s album cover vibe. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. Given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Unless Bruce is right about gamma interference. <laughs> if such a thing could even exist. The wards have been activated before, and I've never experienced such a reaction. Or perhaps I have simply erased that timeline so as not to affect my own destiny. 
I am quite efficient with my future and past selves in that regard. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Dark Hold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed, the Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered celestials, that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. certain of that, because I am sensing all kinds of... Dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General Hellho vibe. Yes. All these potentialities converging at once? 
truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor, so we've chosen a safe exit. Well, at least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. Arm Alpha in position! to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal Hydra resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the protection. I think you got him. You had your chance to escape. This is a serious predicament for you. Forever in service! I'll handle it! Lucky shot! They are still coming for me! Arm Gamma on the move! That Gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gemma or not, I feel the hand of my mother is working. Just what this battle requires. Do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. Surface. 
As the adage goes, if at first you don't succeed, Does someone feel a breeze? Wanda is calling out to me. I feel her struggle. Need to concentrate and... Ah! And I will... Should get the blood pumping. Traditions for the mother. As ordered, I won't forget that. I seem to have overextended myself. That's the spirit. Dutiful. Prepare yourself. I'm skeptical of your chances, but stranger things have happened. Let me show you the way. That's a neat trick. I don't know who I am, do you? In case I wasn't clear enough, I'd deal with these Hydragoons now and get to the Sanctum. Call it a hunch. A very strong hunch. I need a medic here! They cannot possibly match your strength. That's not good! Impressive. I'm glad to have your magic on our side, Doctor. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lilin. You were saying? The lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. One of bed.
Wanda! Wards! Weakening! Cannot let them fail! Association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. Or not. You fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We are venom to all. And you are large. Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider wizard. Marinate it in his stomach juices and eat it with his spleen. Here it comes. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Watch and learn, friends. Sometimes I even impress myself. of your mother's children so chatty thankfully no you were too weak for this fight Really? 
standing strong today. We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. I shall fill your belly with my blade, demon. I am impressed. Persistence is irritating. More of them are joining the fight. Mother blesses us with power. Mother blesses us with strength. We protect the mother and are rewarded with your meat. I think Lilith was a vegetarian. Forced to be wrecked. Watch close. No time to lick our wounds. Like being hit by the B train or the Hulk.
was in the neighborhood. You know, being friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's sort of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the marrow from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? No! Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> 